I'm Dave Sudia. I'm the CTO at UpChief. But yeah, so we provide free one-on-one on-demand tutoring for low-income high school students. They come to our site and, uh, you know, uh, sort of demonstrate that they're either from a low-income community or go to a low-income high school. We have a large bank of volunteer tutors who set availability and we certify them in subjects. And then if a student comes on at 1130 at night and needs help with calculus homework, we ping our volunteers, someone takes the session and they get help. We pair them with like a whiteboard and a chat. Yeah, we're a nonprofit startup. So we are chasing growth. Our mission is to be available to all 8 million low-income high school students in the United States. We are funded and operate a little bit more like a bootstrap company. You know, we get grants. We we sort of have a long-term sustainability story that's around sort of selling a premium volunteering experience to corporate social responsibility or HR departments as sort of as a benefit. We, we don't have VC money in the bank, right? So we, we have to operate really lean. Um, we started, I was employee number six, started at the beginning of the year. We're currently, at, well, actually 12 staff today. We hired a product manager today. And at the end of the last school year, you know, we were doing about 2,500 tutoring sessions per week. Whereas a year earlier than that, we were doing like 50 a week. So we've been, we've been growing really quickly and we're really proud of that. When I came on and, and sort of the problem we were solving is uh, I started in January, uh, the executive director who has a background in finance was knew, knew some Python and was sort of just pulling data straight out of our database into Excel spreadsheets whenever anyone needed sort of information. And we're currently based on MongoDB. We're in the process of, of shifting to a SQL-based database. But you know, one of our big struggles is, and one of the reasons it was that way is there's not really many BI tools that work on top of Mongo, right? They're all SQL oriented. And so um, it was difficult to find a product that would allow us to get good BI from our data. You know, when we needed new admin features, they were written into the app. So, and we were not on Rails, we're on Node Express. So we didn't have just like active admin or something you could just kind of drop in. So adding new admin features was slow. It was complex. We had to write components. Uh, it wasn't it wasn't particularly good. One of my first actions was bringing in Retool, and you know we started with BI dashboards. It's drastically increased the ability for our staff to be able to make informed decisions. We have as a nonprofit stakeholders, you know, that are sort of external to the organization. We have to provide more public data from the beginning, right, than we would as a, as a privately held company. And so uh, having the ability to quickly be able to share these things without having to add users into retool, you know, some specific dashboards and stuff. And then it's just so easy to use that we've been able to get non-engineering staff on who have, you know, like our executive director is now instead of coding up Python scripts is able to just drop some queries in to retool and quickly make graphs and stuff. So I'll show some of that off right now. So this is an example dashboard. Um, We have a group called the associate board. That is a group of people with interest in the organization who volunteer and help us grow or, you know, network or help us with fundraising efforts. And they needed information for an annual report. And they needed, you know, pretty kind of comprehensive amount of data and settable by date and that sort of thing. So I think this creating this dashboard took about three days. And a couple of those days were basically one of my engineers, Trey, just sort of figuring out how visualizations worked in Retool. And any future thing we've needed to do now that takes visualizations has been much faster. Yeah, I mean, for a pretty comprehensive uh, look at our organization, you know, for just being able to stand this up, this was a really fast thing for us to do. Then this is an example of a dashboard that was created by our executive director, you know, and sort of a representation of, oh, hey, someone else can just come in who isn't super technically proficient and just build out a dashboard of information that is usable by the rest of the organization really quickly. I think this took her a couple of hours. And I think one of the real values is that all our dashboards are shared across all the organization. If one of us figures something out, someone else can come in and pick that up and just use it as, a, as an example to, to figure out visualizations. Where we're going next, and I've got a slide on this, but I'm just going to show, is actually kind of using Retool for more of the original intent, which is building applications. We have a demo environment, and uh, we had like one demo student and one demo volunteer But as we've grown, as we have more people needing to use the demo environment, programs team needed an ability to quickly create like a custom user and a student and volunteer to logins to hand to someone so they could come check out the platform and play with it and try out a session. And so I just whipped up this application in a couple of hours to allow them to create users. And one of the things I really appreciate about the platform is the ability to use JavaScript packages 
in here because like here they can put in this password in plain text, but this gets encrypted the same way it does in our application and dropped into the database so that still correctly storing data and, and we still have proper data integrity while also allowing someone to quickly just whip up users. The real value for us as a super lean organization is that all this is in one place. I don't have to find a BI tool and a, an app tool. You know, it's like, it's such a flexible platform that it's allowed us to do a lot of things over the course of this year that have sped up the organization in a really massive way. So yeah, uh, in-app JS packages are really useful. And I re really our next step is to then take some of these apps and make them configurable between environments. So you could choose, I wanna do this in demo or staging or, or whatever. Yeah, that's that's my lightning talk. Uh, we love volunteers. You can join as a tutor. You can join, uh, we're also open source and we love contributors. Um, so please stop by either of those two links if you can. Thanks.